population there is Muslim. Then you have the Serb Orthodox, you have the Catholics, and you have a very, very small Jewish community which is very loyal to the state of Bosnia-Herzegovina, has always been, even through this terrible war in the 90s. I know this because I am Bosnian. So you as the president of the Jewish community of Mostar, what have you experienced in your daily life after the 7th of October living amongst the majority of Muslims? I've been witnessing uh, a very worrying uh, selection process between the Jews and between the Jews who are Zionists and Israelis. And this has not been done just by the public. It's been done by public leaders, by politicians, and out loud. And I was quite vocal in my uh, uh, oppo opposing this uh, kind of uh, narrative because it's very dangerous. I own a very big factory of aluminium in Mostar. I am responsible uh, for uh, a very big part of the economy of the country. I have all the rights as a Jew, Zionist and Israeli, to say my opinion. And while I was very vocal, the reaction from the other side by politicians and by the public was, who are you to speak? You are just a Jew. And uh, this kind of behavior made me to be even much more vocal and much more assertive with my opinions and it might create me much more hate in return. And we saw much uh, threats to my life, to my employees, which are partly Israelis, but we did not went back opposite. I went to the battle with the politicians, with the institutions, because this is the only way for the Jewish people to say that what's on their mind. To battle anti-Semitism, it's exactly what it is, to battle. It is to speak out loud what we think, because Jews has no fear anymore. And we have to show it no matter where it is, even if it's a country with a Muslim majority. Dr. Schuster, here in Germany, the Jewish